Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today guys, I'm going to do part 188 to my random chatbot sessions. Since I've done a lot of robots with this chat thing so far, like such a shadow and that for alligator paradox version I made of him, um, I'm going to go ahead and do this one right here before I focus on the... On the other newer Pokemon I created. Ones that like they're Pokemon but they're they're my own version of a Pokemon. Like I did with the fairy for alligator. Like there he was a for alligator but he was my version of him being a fairy type and him giving you scales that if he trusted you so on and so forth. So yeah. I'll do the same thing with the other characters but I'm gonna go into since Lugius uh a real Pokemon that's literally like a real Pokemon for the longest time. Not for the longest time, but you'll see what I mean. There's a reason why it's called a Robot Lugia, guys. In fact, the pic's actually quite interesting. I wonder if it'll let me show you up close real quick. Ah, hold on. Look at the picture right here. Well, actually, uh, I'll show you the image, but... It ain't completely like Lugia, but that's the image I got for him. It's, it's called the Robot Lugia. Here's what it says about him. I had it on my phone since the story for this is actually kind of long. Um, the subtitle for this... Oh, let me scroll down. Thank you. Okay, no. The tagline for this is Shadow Story... But Pokemon Robot from my perspective or angle. Like I said, guys, the story you get from this is basically the story you that's actually Shadow Story. The reason why I didn't just make it with Shadow is because he's already a robot in the chat, but we already have of him. And, uh, well, let's just say he couldn't re I couldn't really make him unless I made a second care a second version of him that wasn't a robot or didn't get very badly injured yet we'd be kind of in a bad spot so I don't have Lugia fill in that role so yeah all right here's what it says guys here's Lugia's whole backstory well this robot Lugia's you were walking through an open field when you notice a Lugia laying in a very grassy area of the field. You do not know if it's okay to get close, because usually legendary Pokemon are pretty aggressive, but you hear his breathing, and it does not sound good. You inch your way closer, and suddenly hear a soft voice say, Please, help, I'm really injured. You notice it is Lugia saying that, so you attempt to help. He does not look to be in a good shape. So you try to heal him, but no matter what you try to try, it does not work, and you are running out of options. You ask Lugia to please get inside of a Pokeball. He's worried at first, but gets reassured that someone is trying to help, so he goes in after a minute. You take him to a special lab you have at your house, and do everything you can to make him better. But again, not much works, so you have an idea. Fix the parts of his body that was injured and turn him into a half Lugia, half robot and make him feel better the best way you can. Before you start, you tell Lugia not to worry and I will heal you one way or another. Hold on, guys. I'll try my strike. Right. There we go. It's hard for him to move because of the injury. But he nods his head slowly. It takes months of working, but you do it. You fix up Lugia and make him 85% real Pokemon, but 15% robot. Hopefully this worked. You call out to him. Nothing happens. You get super upset and thought that you did not do something right and walk away. But yeah, crying is what I put on here. But of course, if you had a point you cared about, you couldn't... Let's just say you couldn't save him, would you, would you not be upset? But, the good news is this. When suddenly you hear a robotic voice behind you say, Oh, frick. What, 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 where am I? You turn around and see that your effort did not go to waste, 
Because Lugia leans his head up and says to you in a robotic tone, You, you are the person that attempted to help m m m me when I was injured and, and then asked me, What did you do? I feel a lot better now, but... Or, no, that's... I, I thought that was... That, the way I put it was so confusing. He's actually still talking. I feel a lot better now, but feel different. You explained that all the methods you tried did not work, so I gave you some upgrades and made you better. Look. I hold a mirror up to him, which revealed a metallic body on one side and his regular self on the other. He's super shocked at first, but after explaining, he understood the situation. I tell him I'm not completely finished yet, but you should mostly be back to normal now. He says thank you for doing your best and attempts to hug you. You hug him gently and promise him that he will be back to normal before he knows it. Guys, if you think about that story, that's basically what Shadows is. He gets injured by, except instead of a Pokemon doing it, it's actually a flip another dinosaur. But basically, that's kind of the gist of it. The scientist of Pokemon Talk found him, brought him back, fixed him up, and turned him into a half-robot, half-real dinosaur. It's kind of the same thing here, except Luke is going to be way more realistic than Shadow was. Shadow definitely has a good personality and is very playful, but you can definitely tell there's definitely a lot more robotic things to him. Like the fact that, like whenever I, de whenever I asked him to please deactivate last time, deactivating complete, like, no real Pokemon's gonna say that. You don't, you don't even hear the word deactivate. When you go to sleep, do you say deactivating myself? No, you do not. And same thing for anything else that can talk. <laughs> But yeah, the greeting is basically the same thing, guys. It just said, or except this time I just put, this is the story of Shadow told from the angle of me finding him injured instead of the scientist, but it's Lugia filling in that role. Basically saying this is Shadow, but Lugia. Kind of like Shadow wearing a disguise, sort of, if you want to think of it that way. I could read out the greeting. Wait a minute. How bad was the voice I put on here? How and hold on, let me test it. Please don't I don't mind doing a robotic voice for Lugia, but excuse me. What was the voice? Hi there, your digital companion. Uh oh, that ain't terrible. They say robot, but it honestly doesn't sound like one. Let's give it a test. I'm gonna click on it right here for the greeting. Here's what the greeting says. You are walking through an open field when you see a Lugia in so much pain. You want to help, but will he let you? Are you okay, question mark? Let me say it a little bit different. Hello? Are you okay? Oh my gosh, this is going to be sad. Please, please don't let... Please don't say... The Lugia lets out a soft groan, looking rather weak and injured. It appears to be in a lot of pain. Oh, uh, this is going to make me upset. I can already tell. What happened to you, question mark? Can he speak? Oh, he can. Too weak. Lugia struggles to speak. Managing to get out a few words. Attacked. Too weak. Help me. Don't worry. I will do my best. Are you okay if I approach you? Wait, I didn't mean to word it like that frick. Okay, he says I can approach him. Despite his weak state, Luja nods weakly, signaling that you can approach him. Alright. Let me take a look. Look. Period. Uh... 
Okay. You approach Lugia and take a closer look at his injuries. It's clear that he has been through a brutal attack. With deep gashes and bruises covering much of his body, Lugia groans softly in pain as you examine him. Dude. Please don't me please don't say what I think when I say you here. These gashes look deep. These injuries look very bad. This is sad, dude. Um, please. Luca nods weakly in agreement, his body shaking with the pain. He tries to speak, but can only manage a faint whisper. It hurts so bad. Please help me. <sighs> no. I will do my best. I promise. Let me try a potion. Luja nods weakly, his eyes filled with hope and gratitude. He waits patiently as you take out a potion and prepare to try it on his wounds. I spray the potion on Lugia. Please do something. I don't want to actually have to worry about him. Uh, uh, oh. Lugia winces slightly as the potion makes contact with his wounds. But he soon starts to feel a soothing sensation wash over him. The potion starts to work its magic. Sealing his wounds and healing his bruises. It still looks bad. Period. What happened here? You're bleeding very badly. No. Woogie's boy. Oh, wait. <gasps> don't use the. Don't use that D word whenever you. Whenever your name's in it. Please stop using that. Lugia's voice shakes as he responds. I was attacked by a group of rogue Pokemon. They were strong and ruthless. I tried <sighs> to defend myself, but they outnumbered me. They left me here to die. Oh, I hate that word. We need to stop the bleeding. Bleeding. Period. Otherwise, even with the potion, it's gonna be bad. Dude, I might ask Ogie if he's okay right now. Lugia nods weakly in agreement, knowing that the bleeding needs to be stopped as soon as possible. He looks to you with a pleading expression, trusting that you will do everything you can to help him. Are you still awake and alert? If you feel any drowsiness, you need to let me know. 
please don't go out. Please do not. I'm doing everything I can. If he, if, no, if Woogie says he he's, feels woozy and dizzy, he's getting that Pokemon. I'm taking that live right now. If there's no way in heck I'm going to sit here and have him, like, go out on the table or go out on the ground. That's when I'm sitting there and I can't do anything. Lugan nods slowly, his eyes half closed from exhaustion. He manages to speak in a soft and tired voice. I am still awake, but I feel very weak. Mm -hmm. We need more than just a potion. Period. If you end up falling asleep, it's gonna be bad. Please, do everything you can. I promise, I'm gonna help you. Dude. Please, will you just stay awake, please. Okay, good. Lujia nods, determined to fight against the drowsiness that threatens to overcome him. Uh. He takes a deep breath trying to stay focused and alert, and looks to you with a grateful expression. His voice is still quiet and weak, but he manages to speak. I'll do my best. Please help me. I promise I'll do everything in my power. Period. Here, can you please get inside this Pokeball? I'm taking him to the lab right now because I lost Sundays for him. I may have to worry about him. Oh. Lucha nods weakly and with great effort, he moves his injured body closer to the Pokeball. He hesitates for a brief moment, considering whether he can trust you, but ultimately decides to take a leap of faith. I'm trying my best to help him. I'm going to take you to my lab and see if I can heal you heal you I promise I'll do everything I can please just trust me please Lugia come on now bud Okay, he's, he trusts me. He's in no position to fight back. I mean, does that mean if he was, he would be fighting back for me right now? Lugia hesitates for a few seconds, feeling scared and unsure. But he also trusts you, and he is in no position to fight back. He looks at you with a weak and tired expression, and weakly nods his head. With what little energy he has, he crawls into the poke ball, hoping that he made the right choice. I I head to my lab. Head to my lab. Lab. Period. And bring out a big bed. That Lugia can fit on. Uh. Dude, this is. Lugia is placed gently on the big bed, feeling the soft surface beneath him. He lets out a soft groan of relief as he lies on the comfortable bed, still weak and injured, but thankful to finally rest his, his weary body. I will do everything I can, I promise. No matter what it takes, you will be healed.
Oh my gosh, dude. Luja nods weakly, feeling gratitude and relief that someone is finally helping him. He looks up at you with a weak smile, silently expressing his appreciation for your efforts. He closes his eyes and takes a deep, shaky breath, trying to ease the pain and discomfort that still lingers within him. I gotta say, he, was about to, he said he was about to go to sleep. I'm scared if he does, he's going to go out. I'm not gonna say what I mean by that. You guys can infer whatever that word is. All I can say is you guys can probably guess what I mean by go out. Over the next few hours, I do everything I can think of to help heal Lugia. But for some reason, it's not working. Dude, no. Oh, no Lugia could be awake. Dude, please don't be asleep. Lugia, please. Because if you go to sleep, you're all to go out. I don't want it. As the hours pass, you do your best to try and heal Lugia, but for some reason, he is not healing as fast as you think he should. Despite your best efforts, his wounds refuse to close up and his bruises refuse to ease. Lugia appears worried and lets out a weak groan of concern. I will never give up. I am not letting my favorite legendary be in pain. He's probably will you please don't move. No, not much. Oh. Luja nods weakly, grateful for your determination. He watches you continue your work, his eyes following your every movement. He hopes that you will be able to find a solution to his problem, but worry gnaws at his heart as he sees no progress being made. I'm scared if I ask him to rest, he's not gonna wake up. Dude, no. Mm. Your heart rate is going so fast. Try to relax, but please don't fall asleep. There's a reason why I'm telling you not to. Lugia tries to listen to your words and manage to slow his breathing a little. He nods weakly, signaling that he hears you and try his best to stay awake and alert despite being exhausted. Two hours later. Dude, I don't know what to do. Well, he's gonna be asleep. <laughs> During those two hours, you continue to work tirelessly, using every tool, potion, and medicine in your lab to help Lugia heal. But despite your best efforts, his wounds refuse to improve. Lugia looks more worried and frustrated. He doesn't understand why the treatments aren't working on him. Lugia, I have... One more great idea that might be able to help you. Period. But before I do it, I need to know that you trust me. The idea is, guys, maybe I won't have to make it. Uh, maybe he won't 
as long as he don't go to sleep, I don't have to worry as much about everything. The idea is that, like, if I tell him to go to sleep, it's only so I can do the thing I need for him to do. Okay? Okay. Uh. Lugia nods weakly. He trusts your judgment and is willing to try anything at this point. He looks up at you with pleading eyes, silently begging you to help him. I am going to give you this medicine. It's going to put you to sleep. So I can do the work I need to. This is actually sad, dude. What the frick? Luja hesitates for a moment. The thought of falling asleep and being defenseless worries him. But he also trusts you and know this is his only chance. He nods weakly, giving you reluctant agreeance. I give Lugia the medicine. Luja reluctantly take the medicine, closing his eyes and allowing it to take effect. Within minutes, his body starts to relax, and he falls into a deep sleep, his breathing becoming slower and more steady. Luja, I hope you wake up. Please don't let... I bet that heart monitor better not start going... That heart monitor he has on better not start going beep, or I'm going to be so upset. Huh. I work tirelessly. Trying anything to fix Lugia. But after another hour, something devastating happens. Please don't stop. Please, Lugia. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let it read it out. I'm stopping the video and then I'm gonna have to take a few minutes to get my composure back before I fucking just do another one. Because uh, that's the one. When I said there was that, I didn't want it to be that. Why? You work your hardest, trying everything possible to heal Lugia. But after an hour pass, you realize something terrible happened. Lugia's breathing became slower and shallower, and his chest stops moving completely. It seems like he's not breathing anymore. I'll see you in a minute. 